Uh, my name is Ayman Mahadi and I play Evan Hansen. My name is Shasha Ismaon and I played Alana Beck. Hi, my name is Safwan Haji Mohammed. I am playing the role of Jared. My name is Yunsi and I play Zoe Murphy. <laughs> what I think of Evan, well, Evan is complex and interesting character because the thing about him is that he is an outcast he feels like an outcast and everyone in their life whether they know it or not has felt that way and so Evan is basically a beacon of what it feels like to be accepted and any similarities I guess uh, we both get very nervous when we meet new people so Alana is described as someone who is always happy-go-lucky know he's happy and sometimes she's described as someone who smiles too much and she's also an overachiever so she always finds the time to accommodate all her schedule fills it up but in reality she's just really empty inside she just wants to fill all that emptiness with something that she can do and basically kind of seen as someone who everyone can talk to but like she's just a passerby so people wouldn't really realize if she's gone that's how she would feel like so in impossible ways I do relate with her I feel that the character of Jared and myself there's quite a few similarities in the sense that we like to use comedy a lot within our characters and I think that's where we really connect <laughs> yeah I think Zoe is a really driven and confident person but at the same time I think she's really sad because she's never really had a good relationship with her brother and it's only until that he passed away that she realized that he actually meant a lot to the people around them and I think a lot of people can actually relate to this character because I think we all have the times in our lives that we only learn to appreciate something when it's gone. Quite a lot, <laughs> quite a lot, but one of the challenge for me was tapping into my emotions as Evan. Because again, Evan is a complex character, he feels a lot of things and what that is, is that he feels hopeless. But at the same time, he has this strength to him, the strength to not give up, the strength to show people that Oh, I can do this. And the thing about that is that there's this certain level of standard in order to play Evan. And I feel very pressured sometimes to reach that level. Uh, but sometimes I just gotta take a step back and think to myself, okay, I am not Ayman, I am Evan Hansen. I think the most difficult thing for me that I experienced in this project was to dance. Because I don't really define myself as a dancer, I usually just sing. But I got through it, I guess. I hope it turns out well. I think it, I think it will look good. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. People tell me to go left, I go right. Struggles and challenges, yes. So I have a newfound respect for dancers now. <laughs> so it was actually tiring to dance, to train every day uh, over a quite a short period of time leading up to this music video and we had to learn the dance ourselves and it was absolutely tiring but amazing. Honestly, I think the biggest struggle for me in this project was having to remember the dance and the lyrics at the same time. Sometimes I would forget the dance moves if I forget, uh, if I focus on the lyrics. So yeah, it was really challenging for me. I'm definitely excited to see this whole project come to life. I love the fact that we're doing things pretty much from scratch, like we're using the actors to sing, to, to dance in the video, 
and it's something new to see here in Brunei as well. I guess to me this project is actually really empowering because this project revolves around the message of how you will be found, you're not alone and someone will always be there for you. So. I think it's a good way of letting our society know that it's okay to talk about our personal struggles and that we shouldn't bottle it up too much. Just let people know that there are people out there we can reach out to. I'm very, very excited for this project and I can't wait for you guys to see it, for everyone to see it. And basically, it's just um, a project filled with passion and love and yeah, I really can't wait for it.